the adulthood errors, the proto adulthood error of the teenage era, since there was still teenage era, 18 to 20, did nothing to motivate the state of Omega. Um, adulthood one, uh, during the 20th Omega day to the 30th Omega day, did nothing to the, uh, motivate or even try to have a productivity. Adulthood two did nothing, which is what I'm in, did nothing to unify or have a psychological enrichment of the psychological consciousness and the, and the, any creative, uh, new creative thing that already hasn't been established. Uh, they haven't done anything. Adulthood errors, those three errors have been nothing more but peak minimalism. Peak minimalism is going to be, is going to get more and more intense until it basically kills, until it, until it basically takes the mega down. Because peak minimalism is peak minimalism. It's not maximalism. It's not maximalism. It's peak minimalism. And it takes down, always takes down the maximum. It takes down a minimal routine. Minimalism in routines or minimalism. They're not maximalism. They take, so if, if you have a routine if you stop that, if you stop a minimalism routine, then you have no, then there is nothing to uh, fall back on. There is nothing to really do what you need to do, and I'm I'm sorry, but the childhood era. The pubescent era and the teenage era, the real teenage era from uh, 2004 to probably 2009 was the, was the real errors. These were real, um, systems of being and and basically peak minimalism is now basically what I'm in and peak minimalism is is going to be the the uh, thing that will define really defines me how how basically it's a peak minimalism system in a way it it's a minim it, and when you talk about peak when you talk about how the what happened in uh the events to, the big event that happened in December of nine with my my crush and spirit angel or whatever you want to call it. Brittany Murphy. It's, if you want to talk about that, well, yeah. Well, that was like the Chris Benoit using Eddie Guerrero moment in, in Renega. Because look what happened. It's identical. Both happened on a Sunday. And, and both were responded to with two, uh, two days later in mom's place. Just one was with Chris Benoit responding. The other one was with Renega. And 
when you look at that event, I think that this is not a good time because this is peak. This is years, years later. This shit. It just doesn't work very well. I mean, you really look at it. This is how. This is what will define me. Peep, um, well, trying to trying to create things and having nothing to show for it because um, really there isn't anything to show for it, and it just doesn't. It it's just winding. Uh, it's just a complete de- debacle. Take, for instance, this year, the mental health backblowing. The backblowings of the mental health state of Omega. It was a six day long mental backblow in May. Um, a six day long thing of unaccountable. Uh, mental back blows, the back blowing, the back blowing of the mental health state. And when you look at that event, proving everything I need to know, it proves everything I need to know about everything I need to know. It's really everything I need to know. And because, yeah, because. When you really look at it, what happened, the big event that happened in December of 9 with my crush was the biggest thing to ever, it was like the Chris Benoit using Eddie Guerrero moment and it destroyed the fan base, it destroyed me, it destroyed, uh, that event destroyed the psychological state. A year later, uh, and yeah, it destroyed um, everything about me. It destroyed everything I need. I knew about about people. How you don't take something like health conditions seriously, but even in even my own family, my mom, I love. I talk to her multiple times a day. Um, you talk about that shit. I talk about how I feel. And some, I mean, she didn't know because I had a hernia operation. But she didn't know that I had hernias for probably about a decade or more. It didn't take until a doctor said, yeah, you got hernia, you got, you got stuff you gotta do. She didn't realize that I had, that I had them. And, and when you really look at the, the adulthood two errors, all these adulthood errors, the, it's, the run on peak minimalism, that's, that's the real, that's the real thing, peak minimalism, and minimalism is basically, is the precursor to, it's one of the, uh, precursors to nihilism and uh, precursors to to fatalism, and it's basically uh, it's basically using fatalism in in a way. And so that's how my mega leader signing off.